Eastern Saka or Sakan is a variety of Eastern Iranian languages, attested from the ancient Buddhist kingdoms of Khotan, Kashgar and Tumshuk in the Tarim Basin, in what is now southern Xinjiang, China. It is a Middle Iranian language. The two kingdoms differed in dialect, their speech known as Khotanese and Tumshukese. Documents on wood and paper were written in modified Brahmi script with the addition of extra characters over time and unusual conjuncts such as yours for Z. The documents date from the 4th to the 11th century. Tumshukese was more archaic than Khotanese, but it is much less understood because it appears in fewer manuscripts compared to Khotanese. Both dialects share features with modern Pashto and Waki. The language was known as Vedanai in contemporary documents. Many Prakrit terms were borrowed from Khotanese into the Tocharian languages. History The two known dialects of Sakha are associated with a movement of the Scythians. No invasion of the region is recorded in Chinese records and one theory is that two tribes of the Sakha, speaking the two dialects, settled in the region in about 200 BC before the Chinese accounts commence. The Sakha language became extinct after invading Turkic Muslims conquered the kingdom of Khotan in the Islamicization and Turkicization of Xinjiang. In the 11th century, it was remarked by Mahmud al-Kashgari that the people of Khotan still have their own language and script and did not know Turkic well. According to Kashgari some non-Turkic languages like the Kanchaki and Sodian were still used in some areas. It is believed that the Sakha language group was what Kanchaki belonged to. It is believed that the Tarim Basin became linguistically Turkified by the end of the 11th century. Classification Khotanese and Tumshukese are closely related Eastern Iranian languages. Texts Other than an inscription from Isak Kurgan that it is tentatively identified as Khotanese although written in Karasthi, all of the surviving documents originate from Khotan or Tumshuk. Khotanese is attested from over 2,300 texts preserved among the Dunhuang manuscripts, as opposed to just 15 texts in Tumshukese. These were deciphered by Harold Walter Bailey. The earliest texts, from the 4th century, are mostly religious documents. There were several viharas in the kingdom of Khotan and Buddhist translations are common at all periods of the documents. There are many reports to the royal court called Hasda Orasa which are of historical importance, as well as private documents. An example of a document is or.6400, 2.3. <laughs> Notes <laughs>